Okay, guys, this is Anthony here, Super Service. I have Tim's truck here. It's 05. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start a Diag here. Uh, I think it's a no start. Got a, some wiring issue, 248,000 miles. Let me get some screen set up here. Okay, there's the van. 801-24-248. Okay, we got cylinder 5 and cylinder 2 glow plug codes. And uh, left rear, which, you know, had the sensor on the back, there's only one. So, yeah, probably a sensor. I don't know if... Uh, Generally, like ABS can get thrown by low voltage, or but who knows? It could just be the rear sensor, the rear speed sensor. Generally, that's a VSS, but or the pigtail. Uh, yeah. So we got just glow plug codes. Let me get the data logger up. All right, just cycled the key back off and on. Let's see if Fickham drops. Still isn't connected. Okay, no cam fault. No, that looks pretty good. Let's see what we see here. Batteries. All right, we gotta get a cord out and get a charger on it. Hang on. All right, we've got a high pressure oil leak. Uh, I think we got the wrong oil filter up top. Uh, when I crank this thing over, you can watch the, watch the ICP, the volts. Uh, the low pressure oil was took forever to pump up. Uh, and it's, you see how it's bleeding all the way back down? Watch, here we go. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 13, 14. Now watch how fast it goes down when I let off. Here we go. At nine pounds of pressure, it should hold. It should hold 15 pounds in the system it, it easily. Easily should hold it. Like when you let off on the key and I don't turn the key off, the key is still on. With even at the IPR at 14%, which is where it, it goes, it should hold. I mean, when, when you get a good cranker, if you crank it up to about 200 pounds and you, and you leave the ignition on, then the IPR still stays at 14%, and at 14%, it will hold. I mean, it, it'll hold 150 pounds. You know, I mean, I've had them hold 170 before and then bleed down real slowly down to 150, and then the longer you leave it on, it'll bleed down to, like, I don't know, 130 and, and hold it on a sealed system. So that tells us right there that there's, there's oil leaking out. We got a pretty big hole somewhere. Uh, we got to get this thing in and get it air tested. Uh, batteries are not cranking, not even cranking good enough. But what we'll do is, uh, first I want to make sure we got base oil pressure, make sure it's pumping fast enough. We got 240,000 miles. Hopefully there's no lifter issues. You know, but we're we're pumping oil, so uh, you know maybe we'll get lucky. And it's just a simple dummy plug or something. I mean, they, there's a cam wire. I guess it's, I don't know. There's a cam wire that's been ran, but we it's this issue right here has got nothing to do with the with cam sensor. Not yet. We don't have enough oil to fire the engine. So I got the charger on it. We're at twelve and a half now, but it, the load just drops out of it. Here we go. Yeah, I'm only getting 15. I mean, probably be a safe bet to say that that is not IPR valve. 17. Yeah, what I'm, I'm gonna get that oil filter off. Hang on. All right, I'm gonna get this thing pulled inside. I gotta, we'll just have to drag it in. I got, pretty much got a shop full. I'm gonna have to, uh, this needs an air test. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and, I'm not gonna put a freaking new filter in the damn thing. Uh, so we're going to drop the oil and first I'll, I'll go ahead and pull the filter and, and we can look in there and see if we got base oil pressure, but I'll, uh, yeah, I just wanted to do a, make sure this isn't something freaking stupid here, but I don't know. I might have a test oil filter inside. Let me, I'll, I'll go look and see, uh, hang on, be right back. Okay guys, check it out. This is why we don't use this, these filters right here. This filter, I don't know if it, if it, how long it's been broken or whatever. It's sunny out here, it's bright. Standpipe's broken. Bypass valve on the top broke, it's gone. So, you know, I mean, I, you know, as far as what the high pressure oil, why we're not building it, this could cause that, but it also could be a couple other things. But 
what I'm doing is I'm, I, I mean, let's start with the obvious first, you know, let's, I mean, that's freaking broke. So, uh, I'm about to put a standpipe in it. Yep. Let's get a damn standpipe in it and then, uh, see what kind of pressure we can build. I got these batteries charging anyways. They're freaking shot, but, uh, yeah, hang on. Okay. This thing needs to just come in for an air test. I got a motorcraft, uh, cap and filter. I just put a, I got a sample one that I uh, found it. I put a new standpipe in it and now we got low pressure oil right there. And then we look over here and best we're getting 16. Come on, focus, you piece of shit. 17, see that's the most we're getting. So he's got a fat leak somewhere, fat leak. So it's gotta come in. Uh, Known good IPR test, which I doubt this IPR. This is uh, this is an actual leak. Uh, with this model year, could be standpipes, dummy plugs, uh, probably. I mean, either dummy plugs or STC fitting. Uh, one of them. So, yeah, we're gonna have to. Uh, I mean, as far as that cam wire that they ran, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, until I get until I get enough ICP, until I get enough ICP to uh, fire the engine. To where it even wants to fire the engine i won't be able to know if we got fuel pulse width fuel pulse width will tell us if the cam or we got cam fault right there cmpf uh we won't know if there is even an issue with the cam cam sensor or the wiring or anything until we get high pressure oil so we kind of got to chisel it away at it uh not sure when we're going to actually get it in i just went to do a uh a diag here to I'm, you know, maybe it was, if it was something easy, but it's going to have to come in and uh, get air test on it. So, yep, that's all we got. And I'm going to go ahead. We'll try it one more time. I know it ain't going to do it. It doesn't really matter. It needs an air test because uh, potentially valve covers off, uh, turbo off, maybe high pressure pump fitting. Yeah, it's only getting up to 18 pounds. So, all right, guys, that's all I got for it. Have a good day.